What is going on everyone and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 today. So, I've been waiting to do this video for quite some time now and I'm happy to say I can finally do it. So, recently we've had the uh, 12th update for Forza Horizon 4 and now we have been given and now I can receive the LEGO Bond Find, which is one brilliant car. Here it is down here. I already claimed it. I already got it originally and changed the color. It used to be white, but you can change the color and stuff to a different white. But it's down here. The Porsche 911 Turbo 3.0 Lego Speed Champions car. Now, this is... I... A lot of people in the community predicted this was a car. I originally agreed with them, and I'm like, yep, that's it. And, well, guess what? It is. So, I thought also, because I haven't done anything on Lego Valley lately, that would drive it around Lego Valley, do some races, see how it handles, how it goes. Um, overall, it is a nice looking car. I'm actually happy this is it. It is a very nice looking car. St uh, straight out the bat, S1 class. Basically top of S1, so there's not much else we're going to be able to do to it. I haven't actually seen customization for it yet, uh, and see what we can do. But, overall, paint job we can change, clearly. Um, I do like this, like, a very lime greenish color. It is another color you can get this car in in real life, uh, the Lego variant I'm talking about too. Uh, because you can now buy this separately as a white car itself. Or you buy it in a bundle with another Porsche 911 uh, RSR for, with this color of the car. But, without me talking and blabbering on more about it, I want to go into a race, show you guys how this car goes with a race, and uh, yeah, tell you more from there. Alright, so we're just going to go into this race. Now, a neat thing to know about this car is that it's an uh, Extreme Track Toys car, which threw me off a little bit when I first saw it. I thought it was going to be something like a little different than Extreme Track Toys, like maybe Retro Classic, who knows, but um, yeah, apparently it's Track Toys. But, in my opinion, this is actually a really nice looking car, and there's something I want to bring up with you guys at the end of this video, so stick around for that. So, as you all may know, I actually enjoy these LEGO cars a lot in the game. The LEGO Santa, brilliant, I've already seen, you guys have already seen the first part of my LEGO vs. Real series that I'm bringing. Uh, the LEGO Center absolutely prologues the normal Center in game, which is kind of surprising. But I will be bringing other parts out with the LEGO Ferrari, LEGO Mini, and I will soon be making one with this LEGO Porsche. But I can't, I don't think they have this exact Porsche in game, so it's going to be a little bit harder to try doing that. So, a little bit about this car. It is a really nice car. Um, I don't know too much about the car itself with it, like its actual manufacturer, how much horsepower we're getting down. Um, I don't know, all I know is that I believe it's a rear wheel drive with a rear engine, I believe. And handling on this, not that bad for a LEGO car. Like all the other LEGO cars have impeccable handling, but this, this is very nice handling. Uh, acceleration could be better. Could be better. Also, neat little thing to know about this one. All the other minifigures in the cars are usually racing suits and stuff. This guy, no. He's just in normal everyday attire, but wearing a racing helmet. Which is really nice, in my opinion, because that's what the guy is with the actual set. Which I will also get into more later in the video. But I really do like this car. Changing color of it and stuff is really nice too, but... I think after this race, I might actually go have a look and see what type of customizations we can actually do with this vehicle in performance-wise, and I'll show you more with the color range. So, I want to have a little bit more for fun with this. So, as most of you guys know, I race with traction control and stability control on. I decided to turn it off and see how well this thing can drift. So, and if you, as you guys may know, I'm not exactly the number one drifter in the world, but I do have a casual idea of how to get an angle and keep it angled. And keep it steady. Not that bad. If I had more power, I reckon I could give it a nice uh, drift. But it doesn't have that much power, considering it is basically top of S1. So if we do any upgrades to this thing, it goes straight on to S2. But we are heading to do some upgrades. I want to see what we can you actually do to this thing. Alright, so we're back at the house. Now, 
Well, I actually recorded a video before and got corrupted, so this is me redoing it, but I never looked at the upgrades we can do for it. So, not much. I was hoping for some nice cosmetic stuff. We can make a, a all-wheel drive. Uh, we can put a twin turbo in it. Okay, that bumps it up pretty fucking much. Um, what else can we do? We can transmission. Racing transmission. That puts us straight over to S2 again. Uh, rally? Rally suspension. Okay. I didn't think we would have any other suspension and engine. Oh, we can do a fair bit with the engine, but I, I like leaving cars stock, especially my Lego ones, so I'm going to do that. But other than that, there's not much else you can really do to it. Yeah, you can change the colorization of the car. So originally, I'll show you guys the original color. Um, I had it. So it used to be this. It used to be the white with the black little lines and stuff on it. But you can change the color to fully yellow and all that stuff. Black with white. It, it doesn't look that bad, but I did choose this one but changed it up because it covers the whole thing in that color. Oh, no, this color. Um, but yeah, I changed it up so it's that color with some black and it does make it stand out a little bit more than it does. But overall, I'm actually really happy with how this car turned out and how we got it. I'm a little disappointed we had to wait two months after launch of the DLC to get the goddamn thing. Um, but at the same time, they I guess they had to because the car wasn't set to release until the 1st of August. So, this is where the next... This is the end of the video, basically, but I like I said, I, if I told you to stick around, and you did stick around until now, bravo to you. I want to get people's opinions. So, this car now is valuable, uh, you can, uh, available to buy uh, any participating re uh, retailers. So, you can go to your uh, local store, like Kmart, Target, Big W, Best Buy, whatever store sells Lego, and buy this thing as a single set. Um, obviously you're gonna get it in that white color I showed you before, but I want to know, do you guys want me to do a speed build on it, like I did with the McLaren Senna? I kind of want to do one anyway, so I might, but I want to get your guys' opinions also on the subject. So should I do a speed build of this beautiful Porsche 911 Turbo 3.0, or no, but even still I might do one depending if I can get the car. It is pretty cheap, it's only $19 here in Australia, I don't know how much it is everywhere else, but it's, for us it's pretty cheap. But, and I guess that's it. Thank you for watching the video today guys, I hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you all in the next video.